what's up guys origin here playing some star citizen in the playable test universe which is kinda like a developer server you know kinda just test things out but they've released 2.1 bravo I think the patch was and um, loved everybody that owns the game to play it and uh, they've added the freelancer which is the ship that I bought I don't know two years ago when I first bought into the game so I'm super excited to actually get in and try it out and see how it flies and stuff like that and actually see it in game it's awesome so you go up and request your ship and then it tells you what landing pad is going to be on so you go out the airlock here kind of like a decontamination serial, uh, seal <coughs> everything in this game looks really well done really pretty good just everything looks great it's it's really kind of taxing on your system like you see i get some frame rate issues here and there i mean it's it's still early alpha basically so a lot of issues still but it's uh it's getting better and they patch it quite frequently but uh, here you see the freelancer which is the ship I own which is <laughs> it's just a beast man it looks awesome the out outside door is not quite working yet so you can't access it from outside you gotta kinda go in through the back hangar door kind of thing you see the missiles here on the little wing tips you see a freelancer over there taking off it looks like he's kinda <laughs> having some trouble so you walk around to the back here about about the hangar door kind of like a landing pad thing it's pretty cool go in here and check out the cargo area close up the door here if I can get it to work all right where is it at there it is all right close that up watch that seal this is so cool They've done so much, such a good job on this ship. It, it looked a, l a little bit differently until they uh, redesigned it. But uh, see, here, here's another glitch. <laughs> see some guns just floating in the center of my ship for whatever reason. <laughs> That's fine though. This is still alpha. Got the little crew deck here, crew quarters. So you can actually use these beds. I don't know what purpose they're going to serve when it's actually the game or like in game. But right now you can just lay in it and I don't know, pretend you're sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, I got stuck in that, so a couple minutes later I finally figured out how to get out of the damn thing. Edited that in the video because uh, it took me two or three minutes to figure out how to get out of the damn bed. <laughs> I'm turning to check out the crew deck, I guess. What is this? Uh, like the commander's bay? What the hell is this thing called? Cockpit? I don't know. This is where I'm looking for, but I can't figure it out. But whatever. Sit in the cockpit here. In a pilot seat. Every f Each one of those seats actually can be used by crew members, which is pretty awesome. What roles they play, I'm not really sure of. Uh, you know, you can be like engineering and shield, controlled shields and things like that with the other seats, but uh, I don't think it's fully functioning yet. You see a constellation flying off in the distance there. Kind of cool. This cockpit, and they've redone this since the original one. It looks much better than it used to. Just awesome. Just so excited about this thing. Now we go ahead and. Uh, Choose a destination here and fly out to it and using the, uh, what is it, uh, not super cruise, but basically jump drives. It looks awesome. This is all done in game too, it's nothing, it's nothing like pre rendered or anything like that. Alright, so here we have arrived at our destination, which is one of the common rays in the game. And right now they just have kind of, it's basically like test missions. I don't, Think, I mean, because they're pretty much all the same. You arrive at a common ray, it's disabled, you need to go inside, turn it back on. And when you arrive, there'll be like pirate ships flying around, you gotta blow up. So, this is what we're gonna see here is some uh, combat. I cut some of it out because you, you get really severe frame drops right now. Like, I was fighting uh, the first ship I came up to, and I blew it up, and it just the frames went down about five second, uh, five frames a second, so it's kind of <laughs> unplayable. But, uh, so I kind of edited it out so you can actually see some of the combat. These guns on this thing are just amazing though. It's, if you get, I don't know, two, three hits on a ship, it's just done. But I'm, I'm not super familiar with playing this game, so you see me missing just a shit ton here. I don't really play it too often, I just check it out once in a while. I'm waiting for it to actually hit the real live, you know, playable universe version. So I don't get burnt out on it. I don't get put off by the bugs and things like that. But look at that explosion. Pow. Fly through that shit like a badass. It is, just looks awesome though. And I'm so such a noob at this game. I don't even know how to fire the missiles. Like that, that little, those little bars you see, those are like the missile lock-on. This thing has missiles on the sides. I'm not even sure they worked. I haven't looked into it, but uh, you see the frame drop here. But 
Listen to the narration. Yeah, good voice work. I like it. That's the thing I like about this so far better than I uh, than I like in Elite Dangerous is the the mission system. I mean, there's a guy that comes over and says, "Hey, you know, I need some help." I was fine. Elite Dangerous is just reading text. It doesn't really immerse you into the game. This one already in its alpha state it seems like it's doing a better job with the mission system. But here we are with a close up on the Kamen Ray. and they want they want us to EVA out, which the EVA is just you know flying through space in your space suit. So go ahead and get out of my cockpit here and accidentally get into one of the back chairs. I was trying to open the door, but <laughs> this is one of the like, little engineering seats. So somebody else could sit there. I could potentially fly around with three other buddies if I wanted to. I'm going to look at the little comms panel and stuff. You'll have to EVA down to get to the array control panel. What is looking awesome? It just looks so damn good. Can't wait till they get it optimized to where it runs smoothly. Or much smoother than what it is. I mean, it's doing better than the first time I played it. The first time I played it, it was like god awful 20 frames a second all the time. At least now I'm getting 60 frames sometimes. It's getting better. Hey, look at that planet in the background. Now, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go look for uh, Star Citizen. Was it Pupil to Planet? I think is the name of the video. Basically, shows the video of a, a guy in a space station on a planet. Like looking at his eyes and it zooms out, goes all the way out into space, into the space station from the surface to, to space. It's like their, their procedural generation, so stuff like that, but it's looking awesome. And here's the camera ray. Go ahead and check this out. I mean, you just, I just can't get over how good everything looks. Got some nice little pretty music thrown in there for you guys. Get you a little more immersed in this situation, a little ambiance. This is actually the first mission I've done. Uh, I, earlier when I was trying to play it, uh, I don't know, a week or two ago, it was pretty much unplayable. I couldn't get any of the missions to work for me. And I, my game would crash and stuff. But this one ran pretty damn smoothly. So here we see the control panel. It's off link, offline. So you just got to go up and turn it back on. Easy enough. Back on. And take a look around. I was trying to see if this is another panel that actually did something. Just checking it out. The interior design stuff. Everything's just. I can't get over how well done everything is. If you see any more arrays like this one, would mind you reactivate unofficially? All right, now it's time to head back out to my ship, and we'll power up and fly back to the station. ship looks so good. Can't get over how badass this thing looks. I just can't wait till it's playable. I can have a, there's a turret on top that I can have another player get into. Be awesome. Flying around with another buddy just do 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 blasting shit. That is some cinematic shit right there. Damn. Uh oh, outlaws coming in. Enough cinematic shit. Let's get in here and go destroy some outlaws. Show them what the freelancer can do. Alright, here comes one. Oh, black now. Well, smoked him. That was not difficult. <laughs> Got another one. So I don't know about the, the G-Force blackout, redout stuff. That kind of seems kind of excessive. I don't know. It's constant. Like, like I just went from redout to now I'm blurring up. And it's just it's just like I spent half the time being passed out. So that might be a little excessive. Might want to turn that down a little bit. I don't know. We'll get this guy eventually. Miss a few shots, but he's going down. There's nothing he can really do here. I don't think his. I'm sure his ship could damage me if it sat there and shot me long enough. But shit, that ain't gonna happen. Right, so we vaporize him. We'll go ahead and head back to the station now. 
quest landing and go ahead and dock that round. Space Station. I don't remember what the name of it is. I haven't played enough to remember anything about this. <laughs> Couldn't pop up landing mode here, so you can choose your landing pad and stuff like that. Turn on auto land. Auto land. I don't. I don't. I don't know if it's supposed to automatically land you like autopilot, or if it just makes it to where your landing gear comes out. Because it's it's not auto landing. It's me landing it. The only thing that automatically happens is the landing gear pops out. So external view here, so you can see a little better. Nice and slow. Landing There's a it looks like a hornet face down in the <laughs> landing pad over there. It looks like somebody doesn't know how to fly. Landing successful. All right, well, that's it for my first uh, completed mission in Star Citizen with my freelancer. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hook me up with a share and a follow. Well, I guess not a follow. This isn't Twitch. <laughs> hook me up with a subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to like and share. I do appreciate it a lot. And I will catch you guys in the next one.